Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you're all doing well. So I have a really, really special unboxing for you right now. This is my Bring Back My Bar collection. I did the whole collection so that I could unbox them with you guys, give you my honest opinions. Some of these I've smelled before. Some of them I have never smelled before. And so I'm excited to try them out with you guys. We're sitting in front of my Christmas tree. Um, you got Jazz's little tree house over there. She's, of course, come to join us like she does in every video. I hope you guys are doing really good. I hope you're having a great night, day, week, whenever it is that you are watching this. I'm going to film this, and I'm going to send my friend Christina a message and tell her which ones of these that I really like. She got hers yesterday, so I was excited. I was literally tracking FedEx today to find out when it's coming. It's Sunday. This will go up on Monday. What are you doing? I literally have dog and cat hair all over my pants. I got a pair of um, black leggings from Maurice's. I also got this really cute shirt from Maurice's. Um, they were having some Black Friday deals. And I have cat hair and dog hair all over me. I'm out of breath. Just got done watching uh, a really awesome Hallmark movie as well. Got some bad news for my brother-in-law. He lost his dad today, so it was very sad to hear that. Just sad because um, it's the first loss that my twin nieces, you know, have gone through in their little life. When my mom passed away, they were only five weeks old. So now that they're eight, this is going to be like the first grandparent that they realize has passed away. So I, like my heart is heavy for them and it's heavy for my brother-in-law as well. So here are all of the bars. <laughs> and what's really, really funny is, oh, I thought that was another one. Never mind, Not funny at all. First one is Plum and White Woods. I did not pull up the scent descriptions. I'm going to give you Jackie descriptions. You can go to my Scentsy website. I'll link that down below to look these all up. They will be available while supplies last until the end of December. Now, the last Bring Back My Bar that go around, you were able to get them a little bit longer. They extended it. You can also put all of these in your scent club and Scentsy will always make them for you. So first up is Plum and White Woods. It's a purple color. I don't think I've ever smelled this one. This one smells like body care. I get a little bit of the plum. It's kind of a berry scent. And the woods gives it like a wood, like a woody note. Like you do get like a spice. That's nice. I'll have to warm it to see. Um, Painted leaves. I remember somebody had asked me my thought on this one. I don't remember who you were. I apologize. We talked to so many different people. And in my line of work, I talked to even more people. So I am so sorry. Painted leaves. Oh, they wanted to know if this smelled like Tis the Season. And I would say it's a close uh, scent to it. Because it is very woody, it's very spicy, it's very Christmas tree. And I, I think it reminds me of Tis the Season from Bath and Body Works. Peppermint Dreams I have smelled before in the past. I like the color of this one. And the wax is white. Jazz, she's behind me under the tree. It's like her favorite place to sit. I like to pop these out because if you smell the bottom of them, you get a, um, a more clear scent. Yeah, I remember. I like this one. This smells good. I like Peppermint Dreams. Next up is Pumpkin Marshmallow. And if my memory serves me right, this was uh, the scent of the month a few years ago, I believe. Um, and I don't think it was like one of my favorites. Like I, I don't think this is like hoarding status or put it in my club status. Yeah. Um, I remember this one. I think the pumpkin is too authentic for me. I like my pumpkin to be a little bit faker, if you will. I can't get it out of thing. It smells good. It actually smells buttery. Now that, you know what, before we judge it completely, I'm going to warm it. Now all my warmers are turned on. I'm going to go around and put all my cotton balls in there so that we can warm some of these. So I'll have some thoughts for you guys. So I'm the verdict's out on that one, if I'm being honest. This one I was super, super excited about. Um, I don't know that I've ever smelled it before, but based on the name alone, it's the Central Park Pralines. I have high hopes for this one. Yep. And it smells really good. It's nutty and sweet. It smells like a dessert, almost like a pecan pie. 
I am I'm gonna make a pile of which ones were warming first I'm just being 100 percent my dear Watson I've had this one before this is a men's cologne kind of a scent yep Joe's gonna like this one. Oh, I remember yes this one is probably one of the scents that really drew me to Scentsy back in the day that smells really good oh I like that Next up is Lavender and White Balsam, and it's, you can't really see it, my lights are really, it's a purple color. It's definitely lavender. It smells like soap. It's like that soap that you would get in grandma's bathroom. Um, I used to remember going into some stores with my mom that sold like soaps and potpourris and stuff, and this is kind of, that's what this smells like to me. It's not bad. I don't know that it'd be like my favorite out of all of them. I know for sure one in here is blech, no bueno for Jackie, but that's okay because my neighbor likes it and I'll sell it to him. Uh, marshmallow mint. I feel like this is going to be just like the cocoa and mint one, the brick that's out right now without the cocoa. Oh, this is good. Oh, Kaylee, you might like this one. You're going to probably want this one. It smells so good. It smells like Bath and Body Works marshmallow mint. Like one of those. That smells really good. It's got like a meatier note to it. And not like meat like chicken or beef. But like a more substantial note. I have to figure that one out. Oh, Cozy Chai I've smelled before. One of my friends. She really likes this. Um, it smells like cinnamon chai tea. It's so good. Something you would get at Starbucks or um, Big B's. I like that one. It smells like cinnamon tea to me. I've got like all these weird. Cashmere Pear. I don't know that I've ever smelled this one. It's like a really light colored. Um, that's interesting. It, it, you smell cashmere, you smell pear. That is different. Hmm. I like that. That would be a good bedroom scent or bathroom. That is different. I like that one. Cutie Pie Cupcake. I was excited about this one too. You guys know I like bakery. It smells like lemon cake. Like right off the rip. I smell lemon cake. Like a lemon cookie or a lemon snap or like, oh, something, almost like a, a lemon Oreo. You No, know, it smells like lemon meringue, the Dow. Because my friend Christina, she had reached out to me and she thought another one of these smelled like strawberry shortcake, the Dow. But this one to me smells like lemon meringue, the Dow. That's exactly what that smells like. If you know what that is from the 80s and 90s, that is a nostalgic gift. Black Currant Bubbly. Not sure if I've smelled this either. Unless this was the scent of the month for when that really pretty warmer came out in January two years ago. No, that's not it. It smells good. I, this is one I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. It smells fresh. I definitely get the raspberry. Is it raspberry? Black Currant. And like a, like a bubbly note, like the champagne. Almost like a soda pop. A wink and a smile. No clue what this even smells like. I have no idea. <laughs> it was like... Ooh. It smells good. It's kind of perfumey. Kind of body care. I don't know what that note is. It reminds me of something. That's a good one, too. I am, like, really excited about these, if you can tell. Vanilla Oud. I don't... I've smelled this one before. I don't think this is going to be my cup of tea. Mm, now I lied. It smells like Tom Ford's uh, tobacco vanilla. This isn't the one I was thinking of. Oh, it's in there. I know which one I'm thinking of. This one smell. This smells like a Tom Ford... If you're familiar with Tom Ford fragrances, this is an exact dupe for one of them. Oh, 
That smells good. That's not the one I was thinking. The one I was thinking is coming. And my sister Janice likes it. So I have a feeling I'm going to end up giving her that one. Next up is Sweet Amber and Freesia. My uh, lights are really bright. Smells like perfume and kind of flowery. It's nice. It's a lighter scent on cold. That's really nice. Amber Hollow. I already know I do not like this one. Um, this was the scent of the month sometime last year, I want to say, like in 2018. It might have even been 2018. I do not like this one. It is. It smells like um, stew or it's very savory, if you will. It's not very sweet or bakery. And it's very spicy. Like this is... I don't like it warming. I already know that. And I was surprised that people liked this one and they were voting it in. But my neighbor next door, he loves this one. And he's like, if you ever get any more of those, I want it. So I will put it in my scent club for him. But that is it. I Amber Hollow is not my cup of tea. I do not like it. Just being honest. Oh, Vanilla Suede. That's the one my sister Janice likes. I do not like this one either. Um, I remember way before I even sold Scentsy, um, I had gotten a brick of this and mm -mm. yeah, this is, this, <laughs> this takes me back. My sister Janice loves this one. So she will be getting these. Um, I'm going to take these in so my coworkers can smell them. Yeah. This one is headache inducing for me. I'll warm it again just to see, but yeah, I think, I think Janice would really like that one. Next is Quiet Grove. I had never heard of this one that I know of, but I like it. Yes, I do. This one smells, it's kind of earthy and perfumey at the same time. And kind of spa-like. I like that one. I'm going to warm that one probably first. And then the last two are the two that I was most excited about is Apple S'mores. So here it is, this one. Yep. Mm -hmm. We like this one. Yes, we do. I'm not sure what Joe is watching, if you can hear the TV. Yep, this one smells good. It smells like a dessert. It smells like apples. I'll have to warm it to be for sure. You know, I always say don't judge a book by its cover. That's a good one. And then last, but certainly not least, it is the most coveted wax. I tried to buy it on Macari, eBay. I tried to buy it from consultants all across America. Finally, my friend Anna McNabb, she sent me uh, her last bar of this. And now I have in my hot little hands a fresh bar of sweet plum pastry. If you guys know, tons of people love this. It's a cult favorite. Everybody talks about this. This is like their best friend. Now I have a fresh bar and I am excited. It smells so good. Um, the bar that Anna got me or gave gifted me did smell really good, but I was like, I really wanted to smell fresh. And this is, it smells like a plum pastry. It's definitely bakery. This is the one I was most excited about. So let me pull up a couple of these. Let's do a thumbnail. You like that? So there you have it. There is the December 2020 Bring Back My Bar. It is early. I'm really excited. Well, it's going up on the last day of November. Um, all of these are available on, on December 1st. Svin from uh, Frozen 2 is going to be available in a scent buddy and Mickey and Minnie in scent buddies. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you don't mind a longer video. Here are my first impressions of the Bring Back My Bar and I will talk to you soon. Bye!